Hello everyone, this is Pemulesian, call me Pem for short if you'd like. Uh, I am doing a let's play of Mech Warrior 3. I got it out from storage this afternoon and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing it, or at least was really looking forward to playing it. I installed it, got patches, all that stuff, uh, was able to get through the beginning cinematic and all that jazz, and then... Um, uh, ran into apparently the bug that everybody who is trying to run it on anything more advanced than Windows XP has had. Uh, lots of like clipping and pixelation in the software. Uh, sorry. Uh, what am I saying? Lots of like yeah, it just looks like shit. I mean, the game still looks good, but uh, the interface is all buggy. Like the the screen gets pixelated, there's a lot of clipping, uh, and it becomes unusable, unusable essentially. essentially. Uh, so I was looking around online, trying to find... Uh, I'm just going to let the cinematic play here, because it's kind of cool. Uh, trying to find, uh, you know, some fixes, and the best that I could find that fixed the problem was... Uh, basically to just lower the graphics settings so much... Uh, that it looks like the skeleton of a game. Like, it doesn't look like a good game. It looks like an old game. Uh, which it is. I mean, this came out in 1999. But it looks good. Pretty good when you have all the graphics up. You know, the problem is now that Windows 7 and Windows Vista, I, I have 7, uh, just don't like it. And it just doesn't look good. You can't play it. So I had to lower the graphics a lot, and it's kind of disappointing because I was really looking forward to playing this game with a, you know, a souped-up machine. Not that I have a souped-up machine, but something that can handle it with the graphics at the highest setting. And that's just not going to happen, I'm afraid, unless I want to play with you know, looking through a big pixelated mess. So I'm going to give this playthrough a shot, and we'll see what kind of... Uh, Oh yeah, so <laughs> this is the other thing. So the, the fix that I found takes care of the pixelation and the clipping, but uh, rather hilariously, tanks basically just bounce all over the place. Like tanks will just go flying up in the air from the ground. Like, you know, armored tanks, like things that are supposed to be you're fighting. They'll just, they just hop around like mad. It's crazy. Uh, so the fix that I found for that was to download CPU Grabber to try to slow my machine down a little bit. Uh, I did that and then tried playing it again and I didn't encounter any tanks. So, oh yeah, see that's what happens. It goes, whoa! It goes, holy shit! I'm gonna move really, really fast. Uh, so that's, uh, that's where it's at right now. I've got bouncy tanks still. I think I probably will. And we'll just have to play it all messy. Uh, <clears throat> That's just how it's going to be. Uh, so yeah, new pilot, except... I'm not sure if you guys can hear this. It's pretty quiet on my... Two years, my uh, headphones. I had to turn the music in this game all the way down because the, the volume control did nothing. It was just on maximum volume this the whole time, so I had to mute it. Uh, like if I didn't mute it, you would not be able to hear any of this. The music was that loud. However, so. Galaxy Commander Brendan Corbett, the ranking Smoke Jaguar officer, is still at large. Corbett has been located on the world um, of Yeah, Mech Warrior 3, 1999. Uh, I mean, I probably didn't play it till a couple of years after that, 2000, 2001. And I loved it. It was great. It was the coolest war simulator I'd played to that point. Like, first person shooter or otherwise. It was just really awesome. Uh, I mean, I, I, I personally loved it. I know that it's probably not everybody's thing. You know, essentially you're just kind of standing there in a big machine just shooting at things. I could see how you might think it get kind of boring, but... Like, I love the interface. I love the idea of piloting your own, you know, death machine. And um, like who wouldn't, actually? And then a big part of me liking the game was this. It was the... Uh, 
the, the cinematics, well, I guess they're not really cinematics, but, you know, the intro videos and stuff that show you the staging areas and show you what you're doing and the narration by the MFB, you know, leader, MFB, the mobile field base leader. Um, he, he, yeah, it's... Um, just a really cool, like, just adds to the sense that you are doing something more than just blowing shit up. I know it, it you know, most people probably don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, they're here for the gameplay, they're not here for the extra shit, but for some reason for me, this was like, whoa, awesome. This makes me want to play this game. So I'll just let this play, because this is kind of a cool part. It explains why we're doing what we're doing in the game. So yeah, you're supposed to be dropping, I think there's two total drop teams that are going down. Maybe it's more than that. Uh, see this, this planet, or moon, or something, where Clan Smoke Jaguar, they've got some dude that's hiding out here after getting his ass kicked. And your job is to go in and just kick the shit out of Smoke Jaguar and uh, eliminate the leader. And in the process of the drop, the, uh, I think one of the orbital ships, or maybe the... Anyway, they take out one of the drop teams, and I think one of the orbital ships. So you're kind of... You were basically the only one starting out here, and it was supposed to be, like, six lances, like, of... What is it, two or three or four mechs each? They were doing the whole operation, so you're on your own, kind of, and you just have to figure things out as you go. You don't have any of the equipment you're supposed to start out with, so you're surviving almost entirely on salvage, apart from the mech that you start with. Uh, so this is op one, and then it's broken down into four missions, which he'll explain here in a second. This operation is to be performed in four tactical sub ops indicated here. Oh wait, one new data coming through. Now this was the first Mech Warrior game I ever played. I didn't play. I, I don't. I don't even know what one was like. I don't. I've never even seen it. And I had two, and I played it, and I just could not. Like, after playing this game, I couldn't. I was too much of a snob to go back to the low graphics and the, uh, all that jazz. I just loved playing this game too much. Um, I got Mech Warrior 4 when it came out, and it was, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. It was okay. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Uh, this is the one that I always kept coming back to. And then I also got Mech Commander 2. I never saw Mech Commander 1, so I don't know what that was like. But Mech Commander 2, I think, is actually probably my favorite Mech Warrior, you know, universe game. I think I like it even more than this game. It's not... I don't know. It's not, I think, what most people would consider an awesome game. It's just a really cool, tight little game. I like the interface. I like, you know, the fact that you build up your pilots and everything. Mobile threats should consist of light mechs and some vehicles. So here we go, we're going to start this mission up. And you'll see what I mean by the sadly lacking graphics. But this is what it is. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems I always nominal. enjoyed using the uh, radar map. It just seemed, it seemed better. Enjoy so being able to see what the hell I'm doing rather than just guessing. You see that you hear the sound sucks too. It's just a real shame that you have to have the graphics so low. Uh, we'll see. Oh, yep. See, there's the bouncing tanks. See that guy flying in the air over there? <laughs> so CPU grabber didn't do anything. I'll just turn it off the next time I play. That's pretty funny. All right. I gotta. Let's see. Whoa! What the hell? How did he sneak up on me like that? He's right here. Where did he go? 
Where are you? Oh, there you are, you floating freak. Already taking damage from these stupid tanks. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Haha! <laughs> Blasted him out of the air. That's actually kind of fun. I kind of, I don't, maybe this is, might actually be kind of fun, um, having bouncing tanks, you know? Whoa. Whoa! Where the hell? <laughs> he went way up there. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, let's bring it to a stop here. Let's center. I don't even know. I forget what centers shift. No control. No. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's just slow her down. Just stop here. Let's zoom in. What is that? Sounds like an engine's running. But uh, the only thing that's nearby is me, and I'm in nuclear. I'm in a time. Sounds like maybe my MFBs, but they're too far away. They're not following me. And random wind sound effect. Just decided to throw that in there. Okay. SRM replacements destroyed. Oh boy, more floating tanks. Bouncy bounce. Oh shit. Yeah, I hate the initial layout for this freaking mech. The uh, loadout, rather. Okay, 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 okay. Starting to overheat here. Uh, switch to long range missiles. Get a lock here. game. That's a little ungentlemanly of me. Oh, he's coming close. Okay, maybe I should switch to... Ooh, Jesus. I keep forgetting that. I can't back up without hitting a button. My joystick is I, it's a little wonky still. Eat death, robot! Excellent. Nice. Alright, I didn't even have to uh, bust out the AC-10 for that. That's nice. Something over there. Up the hill, I guess, huh? So, I wonder uh, if it was possible to kind of beat the script and... All units, we are proceeding on mission. Contact oh. when able. Ow. I wonder if it was possible to blow up those... No, hang on, I want to switch to this. Zoom in. I wonder if it was possible to blow up those little trucks that blew up the facility over there before they destroyed it. I don't know if that was actually possible or not. How ER is my ER laser? How extended range is it? Ugh, come on. Come on. Come on. Steady hand. Steady. Alrighty. And Blammo. Let's do this now. We got this dude here. Can I target him? Yeah. That got their attention. Clan radio chatter just tripled. Let's see if bring up my uh <coughs> bring up my objective so I actually know what the hell I'm doing at any given point. I wish that uh, I, you know, I switched to the I switched the radar to the map setting, and I wish that it would keep that as a default. 
I don't know a way to do that. But mission's almost done. Sounds like the local net is down. Come on, get me up that hill. Alright. Up point. Ooh, let's just hit the up point here so that it's gone. Up point reached. Yeah. You see that it kind of, like, the, the motion of the mech kind of stutters. You see how it's like, uh, slow down and then speed up. Slow down and then speed up. I think that's a problem with. Uh, ooh, whoa! Jesus. That was fast. I think that was a problem with. Uh, control Q to quit the mission. That's a problem with the. the I, don't actually, I don't know what it's a problem with, but it sucks. So, if anybody is watching this, I, nobody's watching this. But if you are, if you have any suggestions on how to uh, improve the gameplay, not the gameplay, improve the uh, graphics and performance of this game, I am all ears. Sorry, I'm just listening to the debrief here. Gunner! He's my first lance mate, I think. Alright, I know. Right I remember him. He'll be at the Met Mac factory. Uh, mission totals. What is? It? I forget what the points are for. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Pem successfully completes his first mission and gets eh, whatever some salvage, you know, whatever. To set up our River Valley run, we first have to gain access to this. Plateau. This is a uh, mission two. Roll probe data. I'm a little bit west There's of where I start, or where the last mission was. Here. I'll actually pick up right where I left off. After you've the area. This barracks facility is off point Able. We're mm -hmm. counting on getting some significant salvage. That'd be nice. Just past this lake is the major threat in this area. Yeah. This is a heavy missile platform, and it sits right where we need to be. Back to overview. Objective Able, Objective Baker. The missile platform has a range well beyond the barracks area. Mm -hmm. Terrain analysis has found a blind spot in the coverage to the south. Expect moderate mech resistance, especially at the approaches to the missile platform. Roger. Allocating salvage. I don't care about machine guns. I hate machine guns. Sorry, I think I just hit the mic. I will take the armor. Uh, oh, I can get rid of shit too. I will lose the machine guns. Keep the AC-10. Lose that shit. Excuse my language. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm not even gonna apologize for my. Oh, damn it! I'm not gonna apologize for my language anymore. It's horrible. I swear. So, sorry. Just to let you know that up front. I guess it's probably better than nothing. All right, got that. Now to outfit this thing with something that actually. Oh, it saved my edit. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I when I came in here earlier to uh, just make sure that the game, I was, when I was messing with the graphics and everything, <coughs> I actually did went through the first two missions of the campaign just to play it, see how it went, and did an edit, uh, uh, layout, rather, loadout. Excuse, ooh, different skins, too. Yeah, let's do this. I always like Wasp. This doesn't do anything. It's just, I mean, it doesn't, like, it's not like the other mechs can't see you if you pick a appropriate I don't think anyway maybe I don't know no I don't know because you appear on the radar radar anyway yeah uh, it's just it's just stroking you uh, stroking your ego uh, uh, point is what I was saying was yes it saved my loadout from previously so that's nice even though I didn't save the campaign I didn't know that it would do that uh, so I'm working with one AC-10, 20 rounds, that's 10 more than I started with. <clears throat> one ER laser, that's what I had. Two LRM-5s, that's what I had. I added a heat sink because my heat was just miserable. And there's my weapon group, and I think I'm set to go. I've only got one chassis to choose from. Hopefully I'll salvage a mech here. I don't know if it's going to happen in this mission or the next one. And let's launch. Reactor online. Sensors online. Let's get ourselves Weapons situated online. here. All systems nominal. Okay. Now these mother, uh, these bad guys here. See those? Red, see on my map there? Those red dots. Those uh, are coming right for me, and they're coming fast. And I, <laughs> whoa! Look at that. Wee! Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's just don't freaking fly up 